playing a really terrific concert band at Fairleigh Dickinson University. I've been playing clarinet there since I was in high school. But in the fall of 1984, the university announced it was going to close the music department on campus. So now what? There's no place else around here to play. Then I remember my friend from college. She plays in three community bands. Why not convert a university band into a community band? I pitched the idea to the music director. I was persistent. And in August of 1985, the Hanover Wind Symphony was born. The Hanover Wind Symphony has been such a huge uh, value to me in that for close to 30 years now, it's provided me with opportunities to expand my passion. When I was very young, I played a lot of sports. I loved sports, but I really wasn't very good. There was a passion, there was a fire that was looking for an outlet. That belonging that I was looking for so many years ago, I find every Wednesday night with the Wind Symphony. The superintendent of schools in Pequannock. I had to give up some things that were very important to me. Musical performance was one of those things. Being in the Hanover Wind Symphony helped me re-engage with music while giving me something meaningful and purposeful to do in retirement. I'm proud to be a member of a very special ensemble that is so much more than just your average community band. When I sit on stage in the trumpet section, I look around me and I see people from all walks of life taking time out of their busy schedules to help make the Hanover Wind Symphony the best it can be. Our members are dedicated to the group and many have been in the group since its inception in 1985. I think one of the most wonderful things about the Wind Symphony is the people involved. It's the relationships you form, the bonds you form. It provides so much more than just notes and rhythms to be performed. There's nothing like performing with other people. Everything you're doing is working together. Music isn't just a hobby. It feeds the brain and fuels the soul. It engages the whole brain, lighting it up like fireworks on the 4th of July. Sitting on the stage for concert performances, I see an enthusiastic audience with many familiar faces, as well as newcomers who may be hearing us for the very first time. The interplay between our players and the audience is electric and is one of the reasons why live performance is a much more enriching musical experience than just listening to a recording. When people talk about sustainability in the arts, the sustainability comes from the fact that people want to be part of it. Just the way as kids we wanted to be part of sports teams. When we talk about sustaining the Wind Symphony, we're not only talking about sustaining it for the players, we're talking about sustaining it for the community. Making sure that live music stays vibrant, that stays relevant, our mission statement or our byline is bringing music to people and people to music. I invite people, whether it's community members, musicians, music lovers of any age, come out, be part of the Hanover Wind Symphony community. Whatever that role is, as a performer, as a listener, as a supporter, be part of the community, be part of that enjoyment, be part of that energy. Whether you are a musician looking to play, want to join our audience, be a sponsor, or provide a venue, we invite you to join the Hanover Wind Symphony community. I invite you to come and hear the Hanover Wind Symphony in concert, and I hope you will get the same kind of delight listening to us play as we do when we perform for you. We are the Hanover Wind Symphony, bringing music to people and people to music.